what to do when you notice your hair isn't growing. All right, cool. So here are five steps to take when you notice that your hair isn't growing. Once you find out why it's not growing, then you can fix it. Let's go. Unless you have bald spots or your hair is thinning, your hair is growing. Now what's happening is your hair isn't retaining its length. So I would say try more protective styles and low manipulation styles. The lack of length retention may be because your ends aren't getting the care that they need and they're just breaking off. So it seems like it's not growing, but it actually is. The ends of your hair are the oldest parts and they need the most care. So as I always say, baby those ends, add more product, more moisture, or you could just cover them up completely with a protective style or a low manipulation style. The next step is What does it say? Hey, can I ask you a favor? Yeah, what's up? You think you could film this Gym Naturals video for me? Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I, I got you. Uh, are you okay? Here, here's a list of uh, talking points that I need you to hit. This is simple stuff. Are you, are you sure you're all right? You never skip a Gym Naturals video. I know, I know, and I'll be in there to help you out with it, I promise. I just, I just can't do it right now. Okay, no problem. Hey, uh, what is, what does number two say? Oh, number two says, take a look at that hair regimen. How does your hair feel when it's time to wash again? Is it significantly dry and brittle? Better yet, how does it feel right after you wash it? And if it doesn't feel soft and moisturized, you might wanna reconsider the products you're using. However, it is normal to have it feel a bit drier once wash day comes around, considering all the days that have passed. But you will learn the difference between hair that has dried out partially compared to hair that has been dry for days on end. Try to avoid letting your hair become super dry. Now go to a stylist that you trust. They'll be able to better diagnose your hair in person and put you on the right track as far as your specific hair care needs are. Now keep in mind that everybody is different, so it'll be beneficial for you to get your own personal hair care consultation. Now, if you feel like your hair's condition is a bit more severe, Try these next few steps. Now if your hair is balding, take a look at the styles you've been wearing. You may be suffering from traction alopecia. Now this is really common when the hair has been pulled back too tightly for long periods of time. So this is too stressful on the follicles and will eventually cause them to fall out. Now if you feel like these styles aren't the case, then you'll want to take a look at the next step. So if you're experiencing balding and you don't think that traction alopecia is the culprit, at this point I would just say go see a doctor or a dermatologist. Now they'll be able to tell you if your lack of hair growth is due to something that you're doing to your hair or if it's something internal. You'll just want to find out what's going on so at that point you'll be able to combat the hair loss from the inside out. Now if you tried everything else and your hair still isn't growing or retaining length, then it may be time to go see a doctor, get some blood work done. Uh, sometimes the hair loss could be due to an underlying medical condition or a vitamin deficiency or what have you. So a doctor will be able to properly diagnose and prescribe you treatment. Okay, I think that's, I think that's it. All right, cool. Hey, the uh, video's done. Oh, I almost forgot. Huh. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired, stay empowered, and stay beautiful. Peace.